is any of this important? Well, the only thing I can think of is if there are seven 666s, six, six, you're going to have a 42, 42, 42. Seven, six, seven, six, seven, six. You're going to have cascading 42s. And the only way I can see that is I've always had that roped off as a 42. You know? If that's a 15, and that's a 15, and that's a 1, and that's a 1, and that's a 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, that's a 10, and 2, and 30, that's 42. And we just found out that when we counted 6 by 6, and we go 13, 10, 13, 2, 3, 1, that's 36, that's 42. So I found three cascading 42s on here, and 7, 6, 6, 6 would kind of be three cascading 42s in here. 42 is the answer to everything. Why am I cascading them seven times? Wow. I think I just squared Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. No, I don't think you can handle that. <laughs> Should I put these all together? Yes. That's what I'll do. It's 9.43. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those little videos and I'm going to make a big video with them and where all of my brain goes to the movies and the sayings and the links and the descriptions and all that, I'm going to put those in the video and make a mashup and try to make learning fun because I try to make math fun to make people want to know more. Holy shit, guy. Chapter 24, Pink Floyd. Uh, 1960... Uh, I think it's 67. Holy shit, I hope it's not. Where is it? It's right here. What fucking year is it? Ah, of course, guy, 1967. Of course this came out in 67. Why wouldn't it come out in 67? Why wouldn't the downtown core of Ottawa be Highway 31 and Highway 36 for 67? Ottawa 67, Canada's 1876, and America's 1776, or something stupid like that. I don't give a shit right now. You don't think it's scripted? Reality? Based on something. Maybe if they do something based on something, they think they're granted favor with God. That's how thick I think they are. Spelling is casting spells. They know this. That's why it's called spelling. I remember I was a kid and I was like, I, I challenged my teacher. I was like, whoa, whoa. I don't want to lie. I, that's why I never. That's what, literally the reason why I don't read books and why I'm not an English student like you know like interpreting novels and shit like that it's because to me ever since I was a kid I was like fucking sorcery it's spelling you're casting spells and it's like yeah and I'm like what kind of spells okay words are numbers and letters and are numbers and you can do math whoo right up my alley okay so the Piper at the Gates of Dawn from Pink Floyd, 1967. Very good album, go listen to it. And Sid Barrett, lead guitar and vocals. Roger Waters, bass guitar and vocals. Richard Wright, organ and piano. Nick Mason on drums. <laughs> go ask these motherfuckers if they know that. Go, f go knock on their fucking doors and ask them if they know, if they recognize. Side one, astronomy domine. Astronomy domine. What's on my board? A bunch of astronomy, maybe, somehow? Oh, number two, Lucifer Sam. Mason, and backwards, there's no Sam, because there's no Shelaine Amber Meredith. Matilda Mother. Flaming. P-O-W space R dot space T-O-C space H dot. The fuck does that mean? <sighs> Any guesses, people? A T is a twenty, and O is a fifteen. A C is a three, and H is an H, and R is an eighteen. Fuck, we're using a lot of good numbers so far. P is a sixteen, O is a fifteen, W is a twenty-three. Why the what? No, I listened to it. Why is M eighty three's album M eighty three? Period. Because you need a 5 and an M's a 13 and you need another 1, so you gotta put a period at the end. <sighs> to show and symbolize 385. No, they're, they're, they're innocent. Number 6 on side 1 is take up thy stethoscope and walk. Side 2 is interstellar overdrive. 
Number two is the gnome. G-N-O-M-E. That's always been a weird word. Number three is chapter 24, my favorite song. Number four is the scarecrow. And number five is the bike. The reason this is such a great album is because Sid Barrett wrote most of these things. And the two first albums of Pink Floyd are really good and trippy and out there. What am I even talking about? I found seven 666s on that mofo and one 696 and I don't know however many more. So what have we learned? We've learned that Pi is a way of looking at the Reckoner and then we found a number sequence in the Reckoner that the Reckoner is just... The Reckoner is constructed by a bunch of interweaving one of one of seven of thirteens of 110 of 2143s it's just they're interweaving and that's the result if you look at it and take a knife and take a slice of the onion that's what you see that's a slice of the onion and you see a slice of the one of one of seven of 13 of 110 of 2143s you see one in plain sight you see a couple almost in plain sight and there's more and more and more and i bet you the entire thing is just a a bacon weave on a turducken of one of one of seven of 13 of 110 of 2143s if you've ever bacon weaved meat before, you're just matricing your wheat, your meat. See, I said wheat because of the brain thing I have, and I should have stopped, and I laughed before I said meat. And you don't want to matrix your meat guy. So, fuck a duck. Okay, so ever since I took a look at that book and opened up the magical book of spells and, like, didn't read a whole bunch of the middle, which is, you just rip that out and throw it out and wipe your ass with it, roll joints with it, I don't know. Paper's really thin, so there's a lot of sheets in there. Trust me. It's, like, half ply. Rev, I, I swear to God, I thought it was always Revelation or Revelations. It changed to, and now it's back to Revelation. I don't know what, what's going on with Revelation. Didn't it change Mandela stuff? It changed like an S, and everyone was freaking out a while ago. Regardless. What the fuck? Um, no, we got to... We started at 13, 17. 16, 16 is apparently important. Oh, I read the last little chunk. It's really nice, actually. The last... I haven't read the whole thing guys. That would take effort. That would take effort. To read the dozen pages in here would be too much effort for Kevin. But I looked at here because this is the red letter edition. So all the red letters are the words that Jesus speaks. So let's start from the... I was not here the second last thing Jesus had to say. Let's listen to everything after that. It's only uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Five verses. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Well, I hope so, because I really want to sell your energy. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, in Jesus' text, Surely I come quickly. Fuck, that's not the last thing I want to say. That is not the last thing I want to say. Surely I come quickly. Surely your name's not Shirley. And you're not a boy named Sue. Surely I come quickly. C-O-M-E. 315-13-5. I do a lot with those num letters, numbers. Surely I come quickly. Can't say that enough. Um, amen. In not Jesus' letters. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Surely I come quickly? I, now I know where, where Leslie Nielsen gets his humor from. The Naked Gun 33 and a third. Don't call me Shirley Edition. That's what it is. Don't call me Shirley Edition. Don't call me Shirley Edition. Where do you think that guy comes from? So, yeah, you can read this book and tell me all about it. I don't want to know nothing about it, guy. I read the first page. I read uh, some things in between, but really, I think I, I think it's Revelation 18 is when the vials, like 1821 or something. I remember. I would take effort, but I remember there's the there's Genesis one. All of Genesis 1 and Genesis, I guess, 2 1, because it's on the first page. Those are important. And then we got uh, Revelation 13 17, about the number of a man and number of a beast. And then we got, and beast is 7, the last thing, so it's. Don't want to go there. And then we got um, where the vials are cast down, because that's the uh, digital daisy side of the Reckoner. That's how that's created. You have to know that a 1 is a 4. And then there's seven vials cast, so there's 28 things, and there's 28 things in deconstruction of the digital daisy. And then you gotta know Revelation, I guess, 1616, because you need to know the name of where the battle happens for some reason. And you should probably read the, like, the very last thing that Jesus says, but not like the second last thing. But everything after the second last thing to the end, I think is like worthy. I'm having fun here, guys. I can't believe that how much fun I'm having. No, I can't believe how that all kind of... I feel like there's a... like The way I think in my brain is I think of a warehouse with filing cabinets and every once in a while there's a lot of employees and sometimes they're just moving files from filing cabinets, sometimes they're moving filing cabinets and changing the floor plan and making it twice as high or... <laughs> you know? A different layout. And... When I make Eurekas from long time ago to present day, I feel like there's a, a wing of the library of contents of my brain that has been archived. And it's, you're never done learning, and when you take that archived part of your brain and it just feels like it shifts like a whole continent and then like butts up against this other archive, oh, well, technically it is different. And you didn't think it was going to move, and then it did move when it all come back together full circle. It's kind of a neat expression. I went from looking at the divisors of 666 to figuring out where three of the pairs were, and I kind of disregarded the easier ones, but... I started looking at the 666 or the 6x6, and then I'm thinking, I don't know, 3x3, 2x2, all that thing's in my brain. But I just went for the easy kills, and I was looking at ways to, I don't know, my brain. Maybe just look at that and I can find you a number. Like, ask me a number, I'll probably look at that and, oh, here, it's right here. It, if anywhere, it would be here. Don't know why it goes together, but it's going together. If there's a word for the skill I have of problem solving in this manner, I would like to know it. I was getting good lately, so, um, like, I'm good. I'm super happy. I couldn't be more happy. I'm pretty happy. Everyone leaves me alone. I get to do my thing. I'm not rich, but I'm not poor. And if I wasn't, like, you know, in the state of awe after one of these days or two of these days, and, like, I don't know, I didn't do shit for the last three days in here, like, cleaning-wise. But it piles up fast here, it was so small, so it just sucks that I, I know I have this daunting task ahead of me. And I thought I was going to get that done today. I, I went to bed early to get up to do this shit early, and all I can do is, I don't know, look at a old video. And when I stopped it, when I saw the pyramid of 101 to 7 to 13 to 110 to 21 to 43, and I was like, boom, pie. Just like Canada means pie. Just like a lot of things. I don't know how to shut it off. Maybe I should just take all these videos and put them together. I, and I don't know. I don't know. If you can't go click a bunch, and I even put them in the, like, go to that playlist I've created. I'm going to throw all the new ones that, for you woke people. For all you people that know it all. With your epic wokeness. Oh, God. 
You guys came up with a term to tell everyone how smart you are, and you couldn't be dumber. It is fucking comedy, Kevin. It's nothing but pure co- Like, dude, it's gonna be the greatest I told you so in the world. But I don't want it to feel like a told you so. I want it to feel like, ah, fooled me once. Kind of style. Where everyone... It's like the first fly in days. Landed on my foot. Go away, fly. So... Yeah, it's about 15. Fucked. I don't even know why that happened today. If you don't have one of those, you should get one. You gotta hit pause and draw it or something, or... There's lots of ways, guy. Ask nicely. I can maybe take a current snapshot. Who knows? In good quality of light and everything. I'll go back to my hermit hole, guys. Enjoy the day. Alright, so in conclusion, what have we learned today? Alright, if you start from the source, and you make a 6 by 6 grid, going to the 110 corner, that sums to 666. The last cell, plus the one above it, in terms of order of creation, to create this pattern, would be the 37th thing and the 18th thing, 37 times 18 is 666. So that would be 666. Not only that, but these 3 times 6 is 666. Not only that, but 9 times 74 is 666. Not only that, this column plus this is 666. Not only that, this plus this column to 3 through 2 is 666. Not only that, but you pass through 100, 500, 1000, 5000, and then you go back up and then down, and that's a 666. So we found another path. Whatever. It goes boom, 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 boom.